Hi, my name's Emily Toomes. I'm an associate in the commercial team here at Osborne Clark. And I'm Chloe Deng, and I'm an associate director in the commercial team at Osborne Clark. So, Chloe, finally, the new uh, Digital Markets Competition and Consumers Bill has been introduced to the UK Parliament after much anticipation. And there's a whole raft of changes to competition and consumer law. Um, and we're today going to be talking about the new subscription contracts regime. Uh, Chloe, I don't know about you, but I have so many subscriptions <laughs> on the go from digital news, streaming services, food delivery, gym subscriptions. And what this bill uh, proposes to do is to introduce quite strict requirements all around the paid subscription model. And this will move the traders some product changes that could mean needing to change the way that subscriptions are offered to UK consumers as opposed to the rest of the world. So quite a bit to get our heads around. And one of the most significant changes is around pre-contract information. Chloe, do you want to tell us about that? Yeah, so there's lots of detail here, so I'll only talk to you about it in high level. <laughs> um, but yeah, so as some of you may be aware, the UK's existing consumer regime has some laws in there where there are requirements around providing pre-contractual information, including before a consumer pays, they need to be providing information about uh, duration of a contract and payment. And the bill builds on that existing regime, but is much more detailed and precise in the context of subscriptions. So for example, it now says you must provide information about duration, including minimum term. You must provide really granular information about payment. So date of first payment, frequency of payment, and the total amount that you need to pay. Um, you also need to provide information about when payments might change, and you also have to provide information about cancellation and calling off rights. And the bill is also very precise in saying that all of this information must be provided on that contract summary page. So you can't have that information on a click through, a layering, a drop down, anything like that is not allowed anymore. It must be given to the consumer there and then before they pay. And alongside that, um, as you're familiar probably, the buy now, pay now button, the bill introduces an express requirement for that buy now, pay now button to also be um, available to consumers when they're entering into a subscription contract. Wow, so a lot of changes <laughs> uh, right before a consumer enters into the contract. And we've also got some new changes immediately after. So, so many traders will now hopefully be familiar with the calling off cancellation right regime that operates here in the UK. Uh, and that's staying the same. So consumers will still have that initial 14 days to cancel their contract because they've changed their mind for whatever reason. But what's changing under the bill, what's proposed to be changed, is new calling off rights. And these will kick in firstly at the end of a free trial or a low cost introductory offer. And then secondly, for our longer term subscription models, uh, when that auto renews into say an annual, the second term of an annual subscription. And uh, that could pose some operational challenges for, for some traders. Um, they'll need to weigh the advantages of offering free trials and longer term subscription contracts against some of the disadvantages that come along with needing to work out prorated refunds, maybe some of the operational costs that come alongside that as well. Uh, so for UK consumers, perhaps this will be the end of the free trial here in the UK. Watch this space. Yeah, so well, hopefully some of that will help us, you know, not have so many subscriptions. Um, there are also new rules around cancellation. Uh, so from the big new change is that a subscription must be as easy to cancel as it was to enter, which sounds a bit like GDPR consent, but it's also a concept that has been launched in France and Germany. So some of you may already be familiar with it. And then the other part of this is that um, there's also a new rule in the bill that says that consumers can cancel their contract in any way by providing notice to the um, subscription provider, as long as that anyway makes it clear that the consumer wants to cancel, which is likely to cause some practical issues um, for those on the ground, uh, but will be interesting to see how that plays out. Yes, so click to cancel, pre-contract information rights, calling off rights, all of these changes are aimed at helping consumers to be aware of the subscriptions that they have and perhaps to cancel those that they no longer want. And another change that uh, also helps with this is these new notice requirements. So consumers will need to be notified at the start of their contract, each six months after that, uh, at the cancel at, on cancellation, they'll need to be told about whatever refund they might be eligible for. Uh, and there's some other notice requirements as well with some strict timeframes, which uh, the devil is really in the detail. 
Uh, so a lot of changes, Chloe, and uh, what are some of the risks that uh, traders need to be aware of in terms of enforcement here? Yes, so the time has finally come. So I think for many, many years, uh, the UK consumer law regime was known for not having any teeth, but never fear, uh, the CMA's time is here. Uh, mm -hmm. Sorry about the rhyme. Uh, so yeah, so there's a new enforcement regime that comes into the bill. So it's not subscription specific, but it is one definitely that will make everyone sit upright. So new fines, potential fines for non-compliance are 10% of global annual turnover. And there are also fines for failure to comply with CMA undertakings and also failure to comply with CMA requests or like investigatory requirements. So it's really, really important for businesses to start thinking about compliance. And also you finally have a stick to wave at the business when they don't want to comply with the legal uh, requirements because the fines are finally here. So watch this space for more information about the bill. Uh, keep an eye on the website. And if you want some detail about how the changes will affect your business, then feel free to get in touch with your Osborne Clark contact.